Hey there, everyone, and thank you for tuning in to The Warm Up. I'm your host, Ashley Bullington. We have a great show for you this week, jam-packed with all the Texas high school football content you could ever want. We're 10 shows in, and we have a lot to cover. So let's get you warmed up. Y'all, like I said, we are 10 shows in. This season is seriously flying by. Only three weeks left of the regular season, but we have plenty of football to come as playoffs are right around the corner. But these next few weeks are going to be vital as some districts are coming down to the wire and we can't wait to see what happens on the gridiron. We have some great games coming up this week on Inside High School Sports. And here are a few of the biggest that you'll be seeing highlights of on our show and the lineup presented by So Chill Chips and Salsa. Our DQ game of the week is Hightower versus Katie Pato. And this might be one of the best 5A matchups in the entire state this week, or maybe the whole season. I have a feeling we are going to be seeing some moments that make you say, wow. Hightower's coming off a 61-0 victory over Fort Ben Kempner last week, in which quarterback Kendron Pinson accounted for four touchdowns for the season. He has 1,271 yards passing, eight touchdowns, and only one interception. He also has four rushing touchdowns, which leads the team. The Hurricanes offense is averaging 399 yards per game. The defense is led by Skylar Robinson and Julian Payne. They have allowed just 10 points per game and have pitched three shutouts so far this season. The Panthers are scoring a whopping 55 points per game on offense. They won the only meeting between these two teams, a 10-7 victory in 2020. For Paytow, the offense is led by C.J. Dumas. Dumas is thrown for 913 yards and 13 touchdowns and three interceptions. And he also has added two rushing touchdowns to his stat line. Running back Jacob Brown leads the rushing attack with 636 yards and 12 touchdowns, averaging 13 yards per carry. But the defense is as dominant as there is in Texas high school football. They are allowing just six points per game. The Panthers have a record four consecutive shutouts, outscoring those opponents 272 to zero. As a unit, they have racked up 361 yards, 18 sacks, 58 tackles for loss, and eight interceptions. Who do you think takes our game of the week? Another good game we will have on our show is Cy Park versus Cy Woods. And though the Tigers might have the upper hand in the public's eye, the Wildcats have a team that you don't want to sleep on. Cy Park defeated Bridgeland last week, 35 to 13 in District 16 6A to remain unbeaten overall. Cy Park is tied for first place alongside Cy Ranch in the district standings with three games left. The Tigers scored on the first play of their opening drive when Edward Dixon connected with Harold Perkins on a 57-yard pass. Cy Park finished with 422 total yards to Bridgeland's 151. Perkins in that game had three catches for 81 yards with one touchdown and added 25 rushing yards. Cy Woods was defeated by Cy Ranch 47-20 to last week, but the week before they had a big win over Langham Creek with an interception from Dylan Rogers late in the game. This Cy Woods team I still think is a trap game for any top tier team in their district, so P Cy Park has to stay on the hunt in order to win. Enjoy the authentic flavors of ancient recipes. So thin, so crisp, so good, so chill. Great games coming up this weekend on Inside High School Sports, Saturday night at 11 p.m. on KHU 11, host by Matt Musel. Now it's time for a battle as we bring on two great athletes you'll be seeing on the gridiron this week, but instead here on our show. Okay, guys, I have two great athletes on for the battle with me from Alvin High School. Guys, introduce yourselves. Let people know who you are. I'm Christian Montalvo. I play cube line. Uh, I'm Sebastian Cisneros. I'm a, a center, uh, year 22. Oh, year 22. <laughs> okay, first question. What do you call it when a bowler makes three strikes in a row? A turkey. A turkey. Dude, I didn't know about bowling. What? I didn't know about bowling. Okay. What sport is best known as the king of sports? Football? Soccer? Soccer. Basketball. 
Oh, it's soccer. What is the only sport to be played on the moon? Golf. Golf. Mm -hmm. I was I was about to say hockey. What is the national sport of Canada? Volleyball. No. Tennis. Lacrosse. Lacrosse. Okay. Which so. sport uses a net, a racket, and a shuttlecock? Yeah, it's, uh, I don't know. Yeah, he's got the right idea. idea. I call it badminton. Uh, call it badminton. It is badminton. Badminton? It is badminton. Well, you are the you are the battle champion this week. Thank you for your time. I enjoyed you, it. Man. It was great. Thanks for coming on. We will have highlights of y'all's game this week on Inside High School Sports at 11 p.m. on KSU 11. These guys crack me up every week on the battle. Inside High School Sports cannot make it to every game going on in the area, even though we wish we could. But we will help hype them up. Let's check out some games to keep an eye on in the hype. One game to keep an eye on is Sam Houston versus Chavez. And this might not be a great game in most books, but Sam Houston can finally snap their 96 consecutive district game losing streak that goes back all the way to 2003. They're currently two and four on the season and have shown clear improvement over years past. Michael Sinclair is in his second season as head coach. And though his team isn't big in numbers or size, he believes that they can continue to get better and hopefully get that elusive third win for the season. Now Chavez is having a down year. They are 1-6 on the season and 0-3 in district. Their one win came from Northside in week one. They are under new head coaching this season and trying to instill a new culture in this squad. Their strength lies in the secondary with all district defensive backs Dontrell White James and Dalton Green. College Park and Conroe are going head-to-head -head this week as well. College Park took the district title for the first time in school history in 2020. And they are looking to maintain a top spot in the standings of their district. They are currently sitting in fourth place and cannot afford to take another loss if they want to try to get a share of the district title. They have outscored opponents 223 to 134 and have some tough games to finish out the 2021 season, including their season finale against the Woodlands. Now their opponent Conroe is 4-3 on the season and 2-0 in district, tied for first with the Highlanders. They have defeated Oak Ridge and Grand Oaks, but by narrow margins, less than a touchdown in each game. This matchup has the potential to decide some big things in District 13-6A. Plenty of great football to go around this week, and now it's time to see what's been trending on social media around Inside High School Sports and our segment, The Buzz. The Manville basketball team is helping keep their campus clean. They spent their Sunday morning picking up around the school. I feel like we should be inserting one of those many clean up songs we said as kids. Clean up, clean up, everybody everywhere. And also, do they mow lawns? I need some help with that. Some cool news coming out of the UIL meetings. I know it doesn't have much to do with football or basketball, but guys, water polo is becoming a UIL sport in 2022. How cool is that? I might have to seriously check out more water polo now. We pay really close attention to players' accolades on the football field, but lots of these guys are extremely well-rounded and accomplished in other sports as well. Like Ridge Point's Mesa Dawson, who has been offered many D1 spots for football, but this week was recognized in baseball, where he was awarded an Under Armour all preseason All-American spot. That's all we have for this week's episode. To stay up to date with all things inside high school sports, follow our social accounts. We have Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. That'll get you ready for the highlight of the sports weekend. Chevy's Inside High School Sports at 11 p.m. on KOU 11, hosted by Matt Musel. That's all we have for this week's episode. Thank you so much for watching the warm-up. I'm Ashley Bullington, and I hope you're warmed up for all the Texas high school football action.